Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mega Modded Gungeon. In the previous episode we checked out Skater. This time I'm going to check out Roland. I'm pretty interested in this character. Ooh, seems mythical. Seems to have some powers of some kind. But I'm intrigued by the uh, the items already. Ooh, that dodge roll's got a bit of flair to it as well. Let's take a look at what we start with here. Um, we've got the Gunchucks, which is awesome. Infinite ammo, of course. Delicate dance of martial arts allow for the use um, use of these both melee and ranged combat tools. Ooh. And then no active. We have a passive. Um, Manuel's, Manuel's manual. Um, roll into enemies to reload some bullets instantly. Okay, so another reloading mechanic. Uh, another rolling mechanic. Kind of interesting. I mean, the character is called Roland. Uh, right? Something like that. Um, I forget now already. <laughs> Heavily noted version of a rolling instructional book written by Sir Manuel. Um, with some tweaks to his theory, you can manage to free your hands during a roll by using enemies to soften your fall. Just barely long enough to reload a few bullets. And the Dragon Pearl. Hold to charge your roll in a more, into a more offensive stance. A pearl given as a deathbed gift by the Dragon of the West. This pearl contains a strong magic that will allow um, his kind to fly to the heavens. But for a beast of your kind, you can only tap some of its power. Okay, so hold to charge your roll. Oh, I hear it. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. Interesting, okay. So this is two characters that are heavily, heavily built around rolling, which is very different for me, for my playstyle. I, I, I very much stay away from rolling in Gungeon, as I think generally it's not super useful. Um, but... Forcing my hand like this, it's interesting. And characters that I kind of respect. Um, building on these mechanics is always an interesting idea. Um, build, building on un, like underutilized mechanics is always a good idea in general. And this one seems kind of interesting. So, oh, uh, okay. This is really interesting. The weapon here is kind of cool. So it's me it is melee and ranged. I don't know if that swipe does damage. I think it does by the looks of it. Like staying up close is going to do a bit more damage. Let's try and charge up a melee and see what that does. I think I missed him there. Okay, that does do good damage. Nice. And of course, that reloads a few bullets. With this weapon, I can't imagine the reloading a few bullets being all that useful. But, oh god, that was so stupid. But, um, with other weapons, I can see it being real good. I like the, uh, the rhythmic firing pattern of this weapon. I really do. Okay, we can do some good damage here. Imagine this with the heavy armor. I imagine later into the game this becomes a little like harder to utilize. But I really like the um the the long range dash that it gives you. It charges up pretty quick too. Can I charge it even further? No, it only goes up to this far. And, and it doesn't do mid-charges either. It's either charged or it's not charged. You can't, like, charge it halfway to get a half-power roll. But the range on it's really good. Like, this is quite good offensively. I think you really want to be utilizing on enemies that die in one hit or, like, doing that and getting them in a spawn animation. I think, like, the, co the wombo combo of using it and then shooting is a good idea. Yeah, this is this is really good. Ho oh, ho, that was so satisfying. <laughs> I love this. Okay, this character I can I can vibe with heavily. This character is really intriguing to me. Definitely a little dangerous for me yet again, same as the uh, skater character. But I think because there's no sort of involved minigame of like building up coolness like the last character, it's a little less involved and it like it means that I can focus a little more on just dealing damage. Um, and that's way more my style because it means I can rush. <laughs> this character allows me to go fast. Allowing me to rush is always, always a positive <laughs> in my books. I like that a lot. Oh, we got a big freeze here. Okay, that's just the game being silly. We get whatever this is. Hungry Clips. Don't know what that does. It's something to do with Hungry Bullets. Killing enemy refills your gun's clip. Slightly reduces reload time. That sounds pretty awesome. So we've got two ways to reload bullets now. Yeah, I definitely want to be charging up a roll. Okay, that wasn't great. Nice. 
Nice. Give me that health back. It's also kind of good for just moving. Hey, hey, that's good. Yes, it's really good for clearing rooms of small enemies. I like that a lot. Boss, I don't think it's going to be very good against the boss. I think I, if I use it against the boss, I'm going to get myself hit quite a bit. So I'm, I'm going to try and refrain from doing that. I say try, because I definitely will at some point try it against my better judgment. Haha, -ha. stun me all you like from shooting. I don't need to shoot where I'm going. Don't matter to me, boyo. Don't matter to me. What we got here? Um, Clip-on ammo pouch. Don't know what that is. I'll take it. It's an active of some kind. Increases the ammo capacity of the held gun by 50%. Clips on easy and doesn't leave a mark. Okay, so this is a single use, I'm guessing. Pretty goddamn cool. I like that. It's not obscenely strong, but could be really good on certain weapons. So I'll save that for something that seems worthy of it. Oh, that was close. Flare gun. Bit of a waste of a key there. What the hell? Completely whiffed that dodge. Also, my game is lagging real bad. I don't think it's anything to do with this character, mind you. Um, are you okay, game? Are you, what's going on here? Roll. You gimp. What, why did it do a charged roll then as well? Something funky went on there. Something out of my control. I was definitely rolling and the game was not... It was just eating my inputs. It seems that a default roll is a bit, like, different too in terms of, like, timings. Uh, is it? I can't tell. Um, something funky's going on right now. I'm pressing roll and nothing's happening. I think I had a roll charged by accident or something. I think now that I've charged a roll, it's fine. I told you I wasn't going to stop. Okay, risky first floor. Risky first floor. Definitely uh, not ideal. We got whatever this is. Oh, I remember what this thing is. One second, I've, I've received a message. Okay, that's fine, cool. Okay, let's resume, shall we? Yeah, this is yet another character that, that reeks of I'm going to kill myself because I won't play this guy normally <laughs> and I'll constantly try and roll at literally everything in my path. But to me, that spells a fun character. <laughs> that spells trouble, but it spells fun as well. So we we will see how um how I progress. <laughs> we'll see how uh how this impacts the the overall run, and I'm sure I'll end up killing myself in minutes time due to rolling into an enemy and instantly taking damage. But I will blame that on no one but myself, and I'm happy to take on that responsibility. Yeah, this thing's pretty cool. Whoa. Hmm. Yeah, I was trying to do that there. I got the timing a little wrong. Huh. Yo, <laughs> that was really satisfying. This is the hella large room. Aha, you can never stop me from rolling. It's just the distance on it's so satisfying. Oh, 
Oh, no way, I still got hit there. Like I said, you can never stop me. We don't need guns where we're going. I really want Thorn Arm or whatever it's called now. God, it'd be so insane with this. Dude, this thing's tanky. What does this do again? Cross bullets? I don't know what cross bullets does. Occasionally grants quad shot um, along cardinal directions. Okay. Probably go to our shop and buy some HP before we die. <laughs> That's looking more and more likely right now. Luckily, there is no HP for sale. Hoping bag of pickups would have some HP in it. Sadly, it had none. It had one ammo and one glass one stone. Oh, bugger. Ah, I've got hit already. God damn it. This thing's firing a lot more bullets now, I think, from the quad cardinal thingy every now and again. I like that. Oh, bugger. I've told you I was going to die super soon. It's mainly due to me playing bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> Launch myself straight into a pit. I don't care. I love it. Right. Anyways, let's restart. This is this character's gonna be rough for me. <laughs> Much like the last one, these characters are not well suited to my playstyles. But it pushes me outside my comfort zone, and that can be fun. So I'm willing to take on the challenge. Mainly, the issue is... I don't see these characters as a regular character with an extra gimmick. I see this character as a gimmick with an extra bit of standard character. <laughs> and I want to only ever use the gimmick, even though it's completely, like that was a terrible idea, it's completely an unreliable strategy for staying alive. I don't care. I will use this until I die because it's incredibly fun. That's the second time I've hurt myself on a barrel now. I will never stop. You cannot make me. It's just too fun. It's just too fun. You've created a really cool mechanic here that, as I said, I will overuse to the point of killing myself. Not in a million years would I ever take the shrine that makes enemies that have undodgeable bullets. With this character, seems real bad. <laughs> seems like a real bad idea. I really love the rhythmic firing rate of this. It's really satisfying. Hello. We've got teleport and gunfire. And whatever the hell this is. Destroy any items and take their power. Any stats within the items will be permanently applied to the player. Any active items in any active effects in the item will be stored in the book. Intriguing? Intriguing. The yeah, teleporting bullets is pretty fun. Good. Holding my roll, ready to use it. Ready to pounce. <laughs> Did that enemy teleport away? Luckily it still died, but it teleported away at the perfect time. That was kind of funny. Oh, oh that was so good. I just got the distance right on that roll. That was so goddamn satisfying. Oh my god. If I try and just use the roll as like an opener, and try and just use it in like the right circumstances, and like hold it ready, and then use it like like that, it's so good. But I just overuse the hell out of it because I'm stupid. 
I need to be using it on enemies that just spawn in. On second waves. And first waves if I can manage it. Really effective in that scenario. One ecom, don't care, we'll grab that. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna grab the heart as well. Like let's let's try and actually stay somewhat alive this run. I've got some good stuff going on. I like the charge up sound and visuals. Ah, so I got hit there, lovely. Took ammo for a weapon I didn't need it for, but whatever. Tis fine. That heart is already gone. Do you see? Do you see my failure? Oh, I literally got hit instantly there. Made absolutely not even a single morsel of effort. This thing's absolutely demolishing the set boss with teleporting bullets. Never, uh, never named. Um, uh, Ski, is there something that this character does to change the way the default role works? Because I feel my default role isn't as, I don't know, responsive as it normally is. Maybe that's just a, like, sort of thingy effect of me not really, I don't know. Maybe it's just me seeing it wrong. But it'd be interesting to know if that's the case. Because I, I definitely feel like my regular role feels like a tiny bit delayed or a tiny bit slow or something. And I, I'm trying to figure out if that's just me because I'm more used to the fast roll now that I've been using it a while. Or if that's like a balancing thing where the regular roll is worse because you can power it up. I'm not entirely sure, but it'd be, it'd be good to get some clarification on that. But yeah, let's keep moving on. I'm pretty sure we've got some good stuff going on. This this Ember Cannon, normally I don't particularly like it because it's a bit hard to hit all the pellets. But I think with these teleporting bullets, it makes it quite a bit more effective as you saw on that boss there. Um, it seems that we're getting quite a lot of extra shots that were landing and doing some pretty hefty damage, so respect to that weapon. Lovely. So yeah, char charge up your roll. And then yeah, situations like that, perfect time to get a kill there. Charge it up again, take a little look around. Oh, you bat it again! Two times! Two times! Boom. You see? Perfect. That's how you do it. Oh, oh my god, diving over that gap then to kill that guy. I felt like an assassin. Awesome. The, the Void Portal thingy bullets are doing a real good job for me right now. The drill means no keys needed, although we do have quite a lot of keys right now. And I'm interested to see how this book works, I'll be honest. What did it say about actives again? Um, any active effects in the item will be stored in the book. Okay, so let's buy the drill. Oh, we, we can just take both. That's fine, then. That's fine. I'm, I'm trying to think of different role-based items that this would be, like, real good with. I haven't used the drill in so goddamn long. Beautiful. And we got ourselves this thing. Isn't this just, yeah, fires a little rock with our shots. I like that. It's good. No hand. Oh, I tried to launch myself. I was a bit too slow. Oh, dude, you have to make me do these rooms again. This room's a pain in the ass.
Almost out of ammo on this thing. Oh, it was down this way, wasn't it? Okay, this room's cleared as well already. Boom. <laughs> yeah, I think it's I think using it correctly, this is super powerful. It's just learning how to use it correctly. Like right right there was not correctly. Here, however, very correct. It can be super, super strong. Okay, out of ammo there. Ah, oh, rolled straight into the pit. Keep this going. Boom. The grenade fellas as well. I'm just going to use a key here. I can't be asked going through the whole drill thing. Wooden beam. Kind of interesting, but not amazing for us. Bust into a room, that's kind of a good idea as well, actually. Use it to bust into a room, literally. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Compressed air. Compressed air tank is pretty good, obviously. Yeah, let's take it, why not? I haven't used it in a while. Oh, and it's actually in water, too. Oh, and it fires... Oh, dude, okay, this thing with the... Um... What's it called? Bullets? And teleporting bullets? It's kind of insane. These are very much shark infested waters. It's also got the little moons around it too, which I like. Oh dude, this is great. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> and we got this thing, which I still don't remember what this does. A hammer created by Gundam from the planet of the um, second dimension. The hammer bursts the power to tear a pocket halfway into the next dimension in order to put excess items inside. Oh, uh, is this the one that just gives you a bunch of extra um, active item slots? I think it might be. I think it might be. I am intrigued. This run is going well, and I, I, I'm proud of myself for still, like, using the roll gimmick where I can. Because I feel like the problem with gimmicks like these, and it happens in every game, it's not just Gungeon, is they get surpassed, potentially. So, like, for example, one thing uh, that's really annoying in, like, um, in, like, Enter the Gungeon, Enter the Gungeon, Ban of Isaac, there's a few mods that have, have custom characters that have really cool gimmicks. By the time you get to the womb, they're useless. Um, and that can be really frustrating. Okay, we do have Curse of Butterfingers here, so I'm going to hold on to my infinite ammo weapon so I can't drop it. Oh, oh my god, I love that. Busting in. Oh, <laughs> that was such a bad idea. Wait, you can drop your infinite ammo weapon? Excuse me? <laughs> what the hell? I didn't think you could drop that. Okay. Lesson learned, I guess. Teleporting bullets has made this run very good. I've rolled. Dude. For some reason, it keeps eating my inputs when I roll. It's got to be something to do with the charge up roll. It's got to be. What on earth is this thing? The Dwarf's Friend. I like the idea of that. We've also got the Salmon Roll. Ooh. Salmon Roll? Doesn't that increase our roll distance? Wouldn't that be real good with this? 
Uh, wh where the fuck did that fire come from? Where are my nunchucks? Where the fuck did that fire come from? Dude. Curse of Butterfingers. I know it was my idea, technically, at one point, but I fucking hate it with a passion. It should go die in a fire. I hate this. I hate this. I just no. I'm just I'm just gonna let me let myself die. Fuck Curse of Butterfingers. It's awful. <laughs> it's the worst. T to be fair, that room was also real cramped. But yeah, let yet another pretty good goddamn run. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it. Really like this character. I'll definitely be coming back to it. Um, Curse of Butterfingers. Please remove it. There's just shouldn't exist ever. And if it does, it should be like a 25% chance to throw your gun or lower. Because it's awful. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.